Hello and welcome to another episode of my F122 driver career mode for Aston Martin. We're here today for the final race before the summer break after the Hungaro Ring here at Hungary. But before we get into the race, this is the qualifying highlight. So into qualifying then, and we were a little bit rusty after it's been a couple of months since I played because of F1 manager, but we're here. And that first lap wasn't too great, we're down, currently last. So we need a better lap here, and we have found some time. I've never been quick round Hungary, I've always really struggled in that middle sector. But as we round the final corner, and up to the line for our final lap, it is going to put us in the places. Cisco to the best lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have... Norris, Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, and Ricardo, Verstappen, Perez, Sonoda, and Esteban Ocon, Joe, Stroll, Robert Schwartzman, and Latifi, Mick Schumacher, Albert, Brown, and George Russell. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Magnussen, and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. It's almost time for the lights to go out. So let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. So after some penalties, it changes to a P17. George Russell taking a penalty. He's really let this championship slip through his fingers after some poor results. But it's time then for the final race before the summer break. And the lights have gone out and we're racing here in Hungary. And we've had an absolute shock and we've nearly dropped it. At the start as we go towards turn one, we're now going to cut to the inside and send the trademark dive bomb down the inside. We've gained quite a few positions there, coming out to the first corner. Now, how do we set ourselves up to have a little look down into turn two? And we do go for it. We try to overtake Bottas there, and around the outside goes the Williams, but we force him wide, and he has to back out of it. But it's a good start by Lewis. He's managed to split the two Ferraris you may have just seen at the front there. But we are all over the back of Robert Schwartzman. As it is Joe, just up the road. And now dive bombing Schwartzman. Up the inside of the chicane. I don't know why he's a bot a bit ago. He retired last season. But we are through. And now can we possibly cling on to Joe and have a little look? And we really was. We were sticking with him. And I really was quite proud of myself because I've never been quick round here. But we just couldn't get close enough to have a go at Joe. We were so, so close to him through the first sector, but we just, just couldn't get alongside him. And as you can see here, we really, I really thought about going for it like we did on Swartzman on that open lap. Sending it to the inside, you can see that Joe's actually on the soft. So there was a chance that you could have done a a two stop. So I think he must be going for that. Otherwise, he's got to go far on those soft tyres to get him to the end to probably put on a set of hards. But he wouldn't do that because on lap eight he is in, and you may have seen there that we've actually lost the back of him as well with. We couldn't really keep up with his pace and we were just about keeping Swartz with that jabbing distance. So there wasn't really a lot going on at this point in the Grand Prix. But Joe is in and it looks like he's going to be two-stopping as he does. Put on the medium so he is definitely two-stopping today. And that may not be that good for him as now skipping on. With Unfortunately we did manage to end up battling Sportsman, he goes down our inside, we completely cut across him, a bit dodgy that, but we don't care, as this is Magnussen, Magnussen, he has something wrong with his engine, and he has a big problem there, it's absolutely, it's gone, it's gone bang, and he pulls off, and he's out of this Grand Prix, and now this is behind us, this is Schumacher going wheel to wheel, with Robert Schwartzman and finds it down the inside. You can see George in the background in the first opening 10 laps in this race. He has made no progress 
I know it's hard to overtake in Hungary, but you'd think with the pace of that Mercedes that he would get his way through a bit quicker. As we've managed to get away, as Schwarzman is coming back at Schumacher there, and now Latifi finds himself in the mix to possibly go down the inside of Schwarzman, and he's there. Is he there enough? It looks like Schwarzman's just stayed ahead, and he has there. And now Mick Schumacher, how it always seems to be in his career mode, is yet battling us once again. And he has actually got us there. I tried to do the cut back, but it didn't really work. And then I was too far back going into turn two. And that was a lot easier than I would have liked to make it for Mick Schumacher. And we just always seem to be battling him in this career mode. Especially, I always think back to that very first race in Australia. That we had that epic battle with him. The very first episode, but we couldn't and he was gone and now this is Max who I believe is pitted and goes down the inside of Latifi he's having to carve his way back through the field here and here's another one he hasn't really really struggling Max is happening and now here he comes but he's not struggling here as he absolutely bolts past the Alfa Romeo and also George as the stops seem to start to take place George seems to have woken up and realised he's driving a Mercedes as now this is for Stappen on the back of us obviously as we go wide at the final corner and Max is through and Saint Maximus gets past us and now this is George coming wheel to wheel with Robert Schwartzman he's going to try and go the long way round the outside at turn one Schwartzman though looks like he's forced him wide but he's done the cutback and he's made it work. I think George has got him all the way round the outside. Now this is George on the back of us. Going through. Turns two. And now turns three. And maybe a bit of favouritism. But he got alongside. And I decided to back out let him through. Because I wanted him to get after Max. And possibly try and overtake him. So we let him through. We definitely tried to make it a lot easier than we did for Max. But we did kind of just about managed to stick with George this was towards the end of the same lap and we are gonna stay out for one more lap I thought about pitting but those behind have pitted Mark wanted us a bit I decided to stay out and now this is Max Verstappen overtaking Mick Schumacher you can see how far up the road he went from us and is as Max gets the job done on him and now as we go rocketing into turn one you can see we've come out in a massive pack there we've managed to beat out Perez as he's just come out of the pits but this may hurt us these are quicker cars that are going to be trying to overtake us we are on dead tyres and this is Perez as we go wide Perez is going to go to our inside I was trying so hard to keep him behind because this is going to cost us time and Perez does get the job done, we try and cut him back and staying out this extra lap may well hurt us as they're down the inside is Ricardo as we peel off into the pits and staying out that extra lap was quite a few cars follow us in as well that is Latifi and Gasly but Schwarzman may have a chance to jump us very well on the on the undercut there but we will have to see whether he does as we pit and we have to wait for a second because Lance was just just ahead of us and as we come out of the pits we've lost out to Latifi and we've lost out to Gasly and also we've lost out to Schwarzman who's already passed us and we've got a big job on our hands now to get ourselves back where we were there you can see Schwarzman and now this is the pack Albon just ahead as well and now we need to clear the Latifi as quickly as possible but I couldn't overtake him I generally struggled to overtake Nicholas Latifi yes you heard me correctly I struggled to overtake Nicholas Latifi I was still very rusty but still Latifi was making that Williams very very wide and like it was in the opening lap with Joe, 
I just couldn't get close enough to have a go. And with not that many laps to go, you can see in the top left, 10 laps to go. We may well be in trouble. We might be finishing this race in dead last if we're not careful. The Latifi pace, if we can call it that. As now we are much closer to Latifi and we've had enough as we send it to the inside and finally it took way, way longer than it needed to. But we are past Latifi and now how have we got the rubber left? to have a go at Schwarzman Gasly as well, this is Joe, Joe down the inside we go, of course he was doing the two stop and that has been backfired on him as he was way up the road from this pack in the opening laps as now with two laps to go we're on the back of Gasly can we get Gasly and Schwarzman with two laps to go we're going to send it on Gasly, we're going to get the job done, now we've cleared Latifi We've had to go for it, and that little bit of crushing is what we've kind of needed against Latifi. We've kind of shaken off the rust, and now we've got one more lap to catch Sportsman, but unfortunately I think it's too far up the road. And from here, you can't really overtake. But we run a little bit wide, and Gasly is going to come back at us. He's up the inside of us into turn four. We hold it around the outside, go a little bit off the track but we keep Gasly behind us but Carlos Sainz is going to win the Grand Prix he got past Charles Leclerc and Sainz wins in Hungary great job by him Hamilton stayed splitting the two Ferraris in second Leclerc third and we are going to come home for what seems like a well fought 40 It's a performance to be proud of from our Hungarian Grand Prix winners today. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit, familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again. So well done to Carlos Sainz then, great win for him. And it's another Ferrari double podium and George still not there. Still finishing out of the points as well. Lance had a good weekend and coming off to the back of that very dodgy race in France. I think around the same result I don't think that was too bad. But we go into the summer break then ahead of Stroll by a couple of points in the championship. We've got some great races coming after we go to spa next in a monza singapore and then we finish off the season in america mexico and brazil to come this season and we've still just ahead of alfa romeo and alfa tauri still yet to score this season but that has been this video i was very much still shaking off the rust of f1 manager the break i had there in this video but i feel like we've we're, we were back at the end of it if i have sounded a bit down in this video i've got the thing that we can't talk about on youtube despite being your typical youtuber that never goes outside but i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye